Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Data Cloud Now. I'm currently in San Mateo at the DCN studio, where I'm delighted to be joined by Mats Holton, CIO at Ericsson. Mats, really looking forward to this conversation with you today. The same. Thank you for hosting us. We've had some great days here. Mats, at Ericsson, you are shaping the future one connection at a time. How does your data foundation serve as the backbone for everything the team does? It is the backbone of everything we do, whether it's customer support, product innovation, or core operations, or collaborations with the ecosystem around us. So data is on core. We need to ensure that we can have access to data, that we can reuse data, that we can use the data in all the applications we need but of course, in a safe and compliant way. And that creates a challenge where Snowflake is supporting us really, really well in making the best out of that. Great perspective, Mats. Let's now dive in. For just about 150 years, you have continued to innovate and adapt to what the world needs from manufacturing some of the first telephones to now managing networks that process 40% of the world's data. How does the AI data cloud allow your team to deliver real-time insights at scale? And can you walk us through how the journey has been? Yeah, let's start with the journey. I mean, data is nothing new. We've been working with, with AI for many years. so finding the data, curating the data, ensuring the right quality of data. We've been ongoing for a while. It's a huge amount of data that we can access and have use of. So the journey is very much so far been consolidating our system, different data lakes, modernizing the setup and how we can access, search the data we have, uh, mostly for our AI use cases and different customer insights and insights we need. And it's been a race. Uh, we've been working now two years with, with Snowflake, and we've been really consolidating and moving fast on getting data into and defining the Ericsson Data Cloud. Looking forward to the next step. Mats, can you tell us a little bit more about your recent consolidation onto Snowflake? Yeah, I mean, consolidation is always a tough job. Uh, there is legacy, there is uh, a legacy of ways of working. Now we are changing ways of working, we are standardizing and harmonizing but it's been really good. It's been uh, a proactive engagement from the different business functions. It's been great collaboration with the Snowflake team that really helps us finding the right paths and, and overcome the roadblocks. I think we are doing great. We are now moving into a federated data lake where we can really integrate a different part of the business and have much cross-functional collaborative approach to how we access data. Now let's dive a little bit deeper into AI for a moment in the impact it is having across the telecommunications sector. What trends are emerging and what advice would you like to give to the audience on how they can harness its true potential? We've seen a lot of opportunities with, with AI and ML, and we've been working and finding solutions, and we have several operating good functions for that. We see now even greater potential, of course, with Gen AI that brings another dimension. And working with traditional AI, ML, and Gen AI together makes a great opportunity for us to take the next step in automation, a lot of activities and tasks. So we see that as a great opportunity, both in the telco space and also for our internal operations. Great perspective, Mats. Now, I want to take a moment and look inwards for a moment. With over 95,000 employees, what internal strategies have you implemented at Ericsson and what outcomes are you noticing with regards to productivity and alignment? I mean, there's a lot of things that can improve to share data better, but in the core, you need to have compliance, security, privacy well covered. We've been working hard on that. We're moving fast and improving in many areas. On top of that, we are implementing role-based access. So we can, when we are allowed, we can get quick access and we can move ahead quickly with, with the different automation solutions or customer insights or whatever is on the topic for the different use cases that we are prioritizing. Thank you, Mats. As you look out on the coming 12 months, what's top of mind for you in the team? to really scale and continue the consolidation journey that enable us to scale the solutions and, and the different perspectives where we're going to use AI. Also, of course, from a data sharing perspective with customers, third parties, these two areas we see a, a great opportunity of. And to do that, we see great functionality on our federated data lakes and also solutions together with customers and partners. Matt, such a pleasure having you on Data Cloud Now. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. Great to be here. And for the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green with Data Cloud Now. I'll see you soon.